Hi everybody, I'm Kathleen Alcala. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to make a video on decorating envelopes. Yes, this is a pile everywhere you look <laughs> of stuff I pulled to make these little envelopes. Let me show you what I've done. See, these are actually vintage envelopes that I've received or not received, but I purchased them from um, an antique store in Monterey, California. And unfortunately, whoever um, had these literally cut off the entire stamp. Look at, they also cut off the entire postmark. So I'm thinking this might have been a really good stamp that they used. I'm guessing they were a stamp collector that did that. So these are the two that I made, and this is the first one. I um, put a little snippet of lace and uh, a ribbon and a little flower. And then I put a stamp here. And on here, I put very small lace. And then I put this little applique thing. I don't know what you'd call it, a little square. And then I put a little bit more um, trim here on the side. And to shore up that hole where they took the stamp, I actually used music note paper. So that's what this is. And then I just trimmed it down, which I'm gonna do again. And then I just put a little piece here because this was also ripped open. And then I just covered that with the stamp. The other one I did, this one, is um, my favorite. <laughs> Probably because I put the gold gilding on there. See the gold? This one, I also use a little applique and cut it apart. And then put a little piece of um, one of the flowers from this. And this is that same um, tape that I have the, from Amity Bloom, which I'm not sure where that one is because I use it so much, it might be missing. And then on this side, I put more trim and lace. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is actually washi tape on the bottom and then I just put another um, couple of trims on top and then more here and a little mini um, that I think was off an applique too. And I did the same thing. I um, put the music paper on the inside to shore up this missing piece right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a couple. <clears throat> so this is rather interesting. This person, oh my goodness, they literally cut out that much. There's no way I could save that envelope. Look at it, it's, it's really bad. So what I was thinking, cause it actually wasn't open, I just opened it to see what this was. So it looks like it was a card which I thought was really cute to make an appointment <laughs> to see this person on this day. Um, even a time and where they were, I thought that was really cool. At 8.30 to meet. I wonder what year this was. Probably the 40s or 50s maybe. See, it's missing so I have no clue. And they didn't put a year in here. Oh, August 24th. Yeah, no year, so I'm gonna guess. So anyway, what I thought about doing with this envelope, since it was so damaged, is do this kind of a thing. And I'm gonna attach that, I'm gonna glue that together. Because I'm trying to make some ephemera for my favorite thing, junk journal. And I think something like this could be really cute. So I'm really trying not to cover the writing up, but I want it so you could actually read this so you're not on a slant but I do want a little bit of a slant so I think that will do so now I just want to decorate around so I'm thinking I think I'd like a little bit of a drop lace something like this maybe I think is really cute um, I'm never sure that might be a little big because it's such a small little piece so I brought out a lot of lace and trim because um, I have a bit that I can use. This is so pretty, I think. 
Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's not what I'm looking for, but I think that's pretty. This is also really cute, really sweet. Look at that. I like that a lot. That's pretty. You know what? I'm going to go for it because I tend to procrastinate and not I make too I take too long to make a decision basically. So let's just go ahead and glue this thing. So I got this new glue, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if I had to reshare this, but it came from Amazon and some I don't know what happened, but you know how they have that foil cap on the top? It was completely off and um, the cars are driving by noisy again. Interesting. So it leaked a big giant bubble <laughs> in the box. It was like, so I tried to return it and they said they don't take returns for this. here so apologies in advance for my little dog she is being terrorized my sister Diane whom I speak of often she has a new puppy she's named her Danny D-A-N-I because she's rambunctious she's our little tomboy um, but she keeps <laughs> picking on my dog Cosette so because it's always running for her life. <laughs> you know, um, when she fights back, she hurts her. So I'm always nervous about that situation. But speaking about my sister, Diane, I've mentioned this before that she was going to create a YouTube channel. She did it. She just started um, and it's going to be a whole hodgepodge of different things, which I think is really neat. So she's going to be putting... Um, some a little bit of crafting but her passion i think is home decor making mantles and doing things like that so um i'm going to link her website I love, I love that i'm going to link her website down below so that you guys can subscribe to her anyway she's only made a couple of videos um but I think it's awesome. I love, she's so talented. I think you guys will really appreciate her work. Um, she's going to also be doing a video soon on like a giant box, like a bento box. Um, she made me one last year. It was beautiful. And she's going to make another one just for, she'll be making it probably for a gift, but she just wants to craft and share like I am okay all right there's that I feel like that still I mean it's cute I like it but it would have been nice to have something else here maybe a little something something let's see what if I just did like a little lace snippet thing that could be cute yeah or what would it be just to have the side no I don't like that I do like this though I like that idea here Let me trim up, make it look a little cuter at least. See, you can see how I, not perfect, but it's okay. It will do, it will do. I laugh because I always want to say, that'll do pig. Um, let's see how I want this. If you guys ever saw that movie, Babe, about the pig, <laughs> um, 
the, the owner guy goes, I'll do pig. And so for a while, I mean, I still say it, I'm not gonna lie, for a while I was saying it a lot. <laughs> and um, without thinking, I said it to somebody I don't really know well. I go, I'll do pig. <laughs> she was, she was totally offended. <laughs> oh man, I know that's not funny. <laughs> That strikes my funny bone every time I think about it. <laughs> and it didn't dawn on me that she was offended until later. Um, it was like she was already gone and <laughs> I was thinking, uh-oh. <laughs> I think I offended her. She gave me a dirty look. But not that I was calling her a pig. It was just from the movie. They'll do pig. It wasn't meant to be derogatory. <laughs> So every time I said, I'll do, in my mind, I'm saying, I'll do pig. <laughs> so if it ever comes out accidentally, please know that is, that is why. <laughs> and that I am, no, I'm not being harsh on myself. I'm calling myself a pig. <laughs> oh boy. I'm thinking, I wanted to, thought about doing a little dangle there. Um, so I'm looking just for one of those clips, pins, something or other. I've got so much stuff going inside that little tray that I can't find anything now. Let's see how this would look if I was to actually put something in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. So how's everybody doing today? Today's an actual Saturday for, over for me today. Normally I film on a Sunday. However, I felt like making these envelopes. See, I've been working on my journal and I need my little envelopes. I don't know how that's going to look. I don't think I like that. No, oh, no, no, no. Let me just glue this on. Okay. So I need <clears throat> to make these, I wanted these envelopes to be in my journal. I wanted them decorated and pretty. Yep, I'm working on that journal still. The never ending journal is what I'm gonna call it because it's never ending. <laughs> I actually ripped apart the entire center of the journal that I was making. I just thought, I just didn't like it. I could not, could not like it. And then I kept adding more and more things and it was just becoming ridiculous. Um, have you guys ever done that? That you've added so much stuff that like thinking this is literally ridiculous. I. I don't need to add all, more and more and more. And I just never liked it. So this morning, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna rip apart that whole entire thing because I really don't like it. So that's what I did. I ripped it all apart. Kind of ruined the newsprint that I had in there. But I covered it up. Okay, I think a little button might be really cute right there. And it would have been better if I had actually sewn <clears throat> some um, some thread in there, but I'm not inclined to do that right now. My journal now. This is my never-ending journal favorite things that I'm working on, right? So I have some pages that I wanted to put stuff in. Like this is one of them. I want to see what this would look like. Actually, I like that. Isn't that cute? See, I think that's cute. Matches the green. And that little pink matches the pink. Yep, I like that. Okay, so that will work for that one. So... Again, they took this off so you can tell that it's a bit of a mess. So let's build that envelope back up. Look how cool this letter is, you guys. I don't know how people could read this back in the day, but look at it. Can you guys see that? I'm holding it real close because it's so faint. Huh. It's hard to see. See that? 1920 something. Okay. 
put that aside. So I found this piece here. I thought, why don't I fold that and use that for the center? Of course, these bugs really freak me out. I hate bugs. I hate, hate with a passion. In fact, oh God, there's a bug on the other side. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this, but I have to get it high enough, see, to cover here. And I need to pull it all the way down, it's back here. So I probably will do this like that. And I'm just gonna glue this down. And then I'm gonna insert another piece of paper Too much glue. I'm used to my other glue where there's like no glue in there and I have to press real hard. Ah, didn't, didn't work. Hold on. I also actually needed to put glue down in here to get it to be stable. Okay. And then I'm gonna cover this up too with a stamp or something or other. So I'm not too worried about it if it has um, extra glue on it. I'm gonna insert, um, wouldn't it be kind of cool to actually insert one of these pages as the inside? And yes, it's original. Yes, it's authentic. Yes, it's antique. Yes, I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> don't panic, you guys, because I don't think anybody could read this. <laughs> I'm going to cut it and insert it. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Okay. You know what I'm going to do instead of that? I have a ruler. In a situation like this, it's just easier to tear it. So I can go right on to the fold line. So let's see how much I need in there. So when you open the envelope, see, you're going to be able to see the whole thing. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, put some glue, put some glue on it. Let's get it in there. Cover those ugly bugs up. Um, I just don't like them. I don't even see pictures of them. Okay. This, I'm gonna use my scissors. So it looked like this envelope was cut pretty, pretty horribly. So I'm gonna go ahead, hopefully, I'm just gonna create its own. Envelope, see? I'm gonna fold it down. All right. It's kind of bubbling right there. That looks pretty though, don't you think? Seeing that writing come through. I like that. Okay, see? Pretty neat, huh? I'll probably put something. No, I'll probably, probably leave it that, that way. And look, I still have some really cool pieces here I can use for another time. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's just pick some things delicate and soft. Vintage, vintage, vintage. Isn't that pretty? It's cute. That's a possibility. I want to see what else I have. So, you guys, this is the piece of stuff I had left <laughs> from. Remember I was saying I pulled it off my middle page? Look at that. I mean, I, I hate that I did that because it's antique lace I just couldn't take it though so I can still use this I just can craft with it and it's just a different way right that 
That looks cute. Let me see how that would look. Let's see if I can take this paper off. I like the idea of reusing what I destroyed. I think that would be really awesome to do. I'm going to try it. Okay. So I'm going to cut here. How would it look to have this big old piece? Too much. Here. And here. Okay. See how pretty that is, you guys? How gorgeous. I'm going to do that. Or should I do it this way? To be honest, I kind of like it this way. I'm going to do it that way. Because this is so sheer. And then um, you can see behind the page, whatever that page will be. I like that idea. Uh, ah, I'm so not straight. <laughs> I put my glue on. Oh my lord. Okay, guys. Hang in there. Be patient with me. This is going to be one of my longer videos, clearly, right? Okay. All right. Oh, I didn't say my sister's um, page. Her channel name is Diane and Danny at Home. I think that's adorable. It's really, really cute to me. Okay, so I got some lace on there. And what else do I want to do? What would I like to do? I definitely would want some color somehow. Mm. This is not color, but it's really cool. This really stands out, doesn't it? What if I brought it back here? That's pretty. I'm going to try that. I just got this lace in the mail. I bought it from Crafty Me Shop, but I just barely got it. It just came in, so it's hot off the press. Let's do this here. Right, piece there, another piece here. Let's see how this looks. Okay, all right. Okay, that came out wonky. I gotta bring that down. I need them to meet. I need them to meet in the center. I need to cut this so that they can meet correctly. Maybe I don't even need to cut it. If I cut that, let's see what it would look like. Actually, that would look good. Let me cut this little piece off here, you guys. Hope you can see that. Hope I'm in screen. I'm just taking this one little ball off the edge. So, I mean, kind of like mitering the corner. <clears throat> so, that way it looks a little bit better. There we go. Okay. I should have done this one a little longer. Look at 
also I have too much stuff on my desk. That's pretty. Pretty lace. Now I need like a little small trim across here. Let me see if I introduce this kind of color in there. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Let's see what this would look like here. Isn't that gorgeous? I really like that. I know this is the right side, Rach, you guys. That's pretty the right side, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do it. Okay. So I bought a bunch of Kathy Holden items today. I don't know if you guys ever look at Spectrum Art. They have sales, I think, every Saturday. Um, and it's ironic because she, they were selling Kathy Holden um, ephemera and fabric and rubber stamps. I love her stuff. They were calling her the, the, the female Tim Holtz. So she does very vintage but very feminine and very beautiful things. I don't know if you guys check her out. So it's Kathy with the C Holden. The only place I could find originally find anything from her was in Australia. And it was twice as much as I got it for today. So I was really, really incredibly pleased <laughs> to <laughs> find that bargain. Um, I was quite happy <laughs> about that. Okay. So when I get it, I will probably show you guys. There's quite a few things I got that I want to show you guys. I might do a haul video. That might be my next thing because honestly, I... I also found some vendors um, from France. Oh, look how cute that little flower bunch there looks. I think I might have to do that. So I found um, a couple of vendors from France that are just amazing. I got wallpaper. Oh my gosh, you guys, vintage, beautiful French wallpaper. I also found... Um, what else did I get? Wallpaper. And then this other site, um, I got all kinds of paper and images and beautiful lace. Um, oh my gosh. I was overwhelmed, to be honest, when I saw it all because it was so beautiful. I just could not believe it. What if I wrap this little piece up in this little piece of lace. Let me see what that looks like. So I think that's what my next video will be on all the things I've purchased recently that I've discovered. Um, I won't get the Kathy Holden one probably for a couple of weeks, but I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I did get. Also, I have found some really cool, um, really beautiful fabric at the thrift shop. Incredibly cheap. I like that. I'm going to see if that will stay on there. It may not. It may not. But I'm going to try. Let's put glue on the highlighted areas here. See if that will work. Then I've, um, so I found those items. And now I keep looking at their store and like, oh my gosh, drooling over everything. <laughs> so anyway, I was looking for Kathy Holden because somebody had a video on it. And I'm telling you, every time I see a video, I was like, oh, I want that. Um, so I did order a lot of Kathy Holden stuff today. I did the fabric, the rubber stamps, the ephemera, the stickers. So I think I'm set for a bit for Kathy Holden. Let me see if I can just keep that down for a minute. It's going to stick, guys. Oh, 
little flowers there with the little so now I need to cover this I have stamps I have in the shoe box or not shoe box cigar box so a lot of these stamps have come from um, different sources I got some that are from France and then some are um, some of these things like this is actual vintage. It did come from one of the vendors. Look how cute that would look right there, right? Nope, I like it right there. I'm gonna do that. So, um, but I went to um, where I, we live, the next town over in Santa Cruz, California. They have a flea market. I think the first Sunday or first Saturday or first Sunday of every every month so me and my sister went and i found this box of stamps and he asked for ten dollars <laughs> it's like uh, it also had pictures in it i said um i'll take it <laughs> look how pretty that is i'm kind of leaning towards this one but i i kept not having color so i'm I'm thinking, I wonder if I need color. See, isn't that pretty? I like that. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I like it a lot. So now I got a plethora of stamps. <laughs> lots and lots of stamps. Okay, put that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to do that because I really like it. I think it's cute. Sometimes I feel a little weird using like truly vintage things. Like I'm just drawing history or something. But I have to tell myself it's okay, it's okay. I was thinking about decorating those letters too that is from here because I love the writing on them. I think I will make a photocopy of them, however, so that way I do have a little bit on hand. I can never tell which side's which. I think it's this side. Okay. Get that straight. So I had to get up early today and take my Cosette to the vet. She was so scared. I feel so sorry for her. <laughs> I have a dog that is like completely nervous. <laughs> they actually want to put her on Prozac. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't think so. Sticky. I think that's really, really cute. I really like that. I hate that I got some glue on there. <clears throat> okay. Let me just insert those letters back. I remember writing a lot of letters when I was younger. Before cell phones and texting. Now I just text, never write real letters. I do have pen pals, which I've been really um, remiss in not sending them anything for quite a while. Um, I'm working on that, but I do like to write a little note to them at least. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep that, guys. Okay, I know there's a big giant mess on my desk. I apologize, you guys, for it being so messy. Okay, so there's that. There's this that one this unusual thing here which I love and this one so just ignore all <laughs> the lace and stuff around <laughs> all right you guys that's my decorating my vintage envelopes and take care everybody I hope you have a wonderful wonderful week be blessed bye-bye